Today we're painting a sweet gouache strawberry surrounded by flowers all within Procreate. Happy Tuesday! In this week's tutorial we'll be painting a vibrant gouache strawberry surrounded by simple flowers and finished with lettering. We'll be using a few different brushes for my gouache lovers brush set for this entire project. We'll use the sketching pencil brush to lay out our composition, then paint our strawberry with a streaky semi-transparent brush, and add in a few details with a dried out brush, which we'll also use for our lettering at the end. The color palette is free as always, just hit the link in the video description and you can download and install it. I'm going to start by creating a brand new canvas, I've listed my specs on screen, and let's begin. Okay, I've got my brand new canvas. The first thing I'm going to do is set a background color. So come to your layers, tap on background color, and I'm going to use this fourth pink right here on the top row as the background color. And the next thing we're going to do is sketch out our strawberry layout. So for that, I'm just going to double tap where the black is to get true black. And I'm going to grab my sketching pencil brush from the Gouache Lovers brush set. And in order to make the strawberry, a really easy way to do that is to just draw a heart. So I'm going to draw kind of a, ver a more vertical heart, and it's okay if it's not perfectly symmetrical. And then what you want to do is join the top two. So there's just a little bit of curve on each side. And then at the very bottom, we're going to round off this point so it's not so pointy. So you got a nice curve at the bottom. And then I just erase away the extra bits that I'm not using. And just like that, we have a strawberry shape. So once you have your strawberry, take a look at it. I think I want mine to be a little bit more vertical. So I'm just going to stretch it down. So I need to make sure freeform is selected instead of uniform. This is like one of the only times I ever say that it's okay to stretch your artwork is in the sketch layer. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is draw the top leaves that are coming off of it. So I'm gonna switch back to my brush and these ones are skinny and they're pointy. I am also going to draw some flower buds around this so I want one flower bud to come up from this and then I'm going to have a few flowers right around it. So I want one that's going to be right on top so this is going to have five petals. If you've seen a strawberry flower before you know it's got these little areas of the stamen poking up. For this flower over here I think I want it to be a little bit bigger so I'm going to Erase the stamen, put it right about here. Remember this is your sketch, so you can change it and alter it however you would like. And then I'm just going to fill the rest of this in with some leaves. Put some seeds on my strawberry, dictate where those are gonna go. And then I'm going to put some larger leaves in the back. So I feel pretty good about this scale wise and then I still have room right below it for my lettering. If you don't want to include lettering, just center this and then you'll be good to go. You might want to make it a little bit larger though. Now that we have our sketch layer, let's label this one sketch. I'm going to create a brand new layer but I'm going to drag it underneath my sketch layer because I want to be able to see my sketch layer at all times as I'm painting this in. So we're going to begin with the strawberry first and I'm going to grab the streaky semi-transparent brush in the gouache lover set and I'm going to grab this bright super vibrant red the first one on the top row and I'm just going to paint in the entire strawberry and I have a tendency to paint a little messier so I really don't mind if I go out of the lines if you want to be more precise then just take your time as you're painting in within the lines the next thing I'm going to do is create a brand new layer create a clipping mask so tap on the layer thumbnail and choose clipping mask we're going to add a little bit of shadow so I'm going to grab the second color in the top row and just put a nice shadow right along this edge and then I also want some shadow underneath these leaves up at the top so I'm just going to draw a couple of lines to the left of them and this is going to make it really pop once we paint those in green. All right once you have that now we can paint in the seeds. I'm going to grab the third color up at the top come down to about eight percent and I want to paint these in without the sketch layer because I don't really like the way I drew the seeds in for reference. So I'm just going to turn off the sketch layer create a brand new layer right above it and I'm just going to paint in the seeds freehand here. I'm going to turn my sketch layer back on and now we can start painting in our flowers. I'm going to save the foliage for last because I want some to be in front of the flowers and some to be behind the flowers. So it'll be a little bit easier if I paint my flowers first. I'm going to group these elements together and just label this one strawberry. Create a brand new layer 
and we're going to start painting in our flowers. So the base of the flowers is going to be the white right here. And I still have my streaky semi-transparent brush selected. I'm going to bring the size up to about 10%. So I'll paint in these petals first, and since this is a pressure sensitive brush, if I go little pressure to heavy pressure, you can see I get that nice variation. So for these petals, I'm basically coming at medium pressure and then going heavy pressure. So I don't have any super thin lines, I'm starting at a pretty decent weight to begin with. So for each one of these petals, I'm adding a little bit of extra pressure towards the end and then I'm lifting up, I'm not coming back down to little pressure. So I'm going to paint four of these in and they kind of overlap a little bit and then I'll paint in these ones. I'm going to turn off the sketch layer for the last two petals. And I don't like that petal right there so I'm going to do this one freehand too. Once you have your flowers, we're going to add a little bit of detail to them. So create a brand new layer, grab your gray color, and I'm going to grab the dried out brush and the size of it's about 5%. And I'm just going to draw a few lines up for the bud and then the blossoms, just a few lines coming out from the center. Now we're going to paint in our stamens for the blossoms, so create a brand new layer. We're going to grab the darkest orange color. I still have the dried out brush, but I'm going to increase the size to 8% and draw a nice circle right in the middle. And then I'm going to put some dots around it that vary in size. So I'm just alternating the pressure that I'm putting on the screen as I'm stippling. And then to just add a little bit of extra depth, create a brand new layer, grab the lightest yellow color, and we're just going to stipple on top of the very center here. Now we can begin our foliage. I'm going to group these layers together and label this one flowers. The first thing I'm going to do is paint the elements that are going to be on top of the flower. So since I have this flower bud, I'm going to have areas of the stem that's going to extend up into the petals. So I'm going to create a brand new layer. So this is going to be my top foliage. I'm going to grab the darkest green color and I'm going to return back to my streaky semi-transparent brush. I'm going to draw a stem down and then create that transition. And then I can also paint the top areas on my strawberry. So if you want to turn your sketch layer back on so you know where those are, that could be helpful right here since we based our shadows off of the sketch. For this part, these foliage, I'm going heavy pressure to light pressure so I get that nice point at the end. The rest of my foliage I'm going to want to be behind my flowers. So I'm going to create a brand new layer underneath the flowers group. So tap on the strawberry group, create a brand new layer, and now I can continue painting. But now I can paint a stem from behind the flower and it won't end up on top of the flower. And then this one's not going to have a stem, but all the leaves that I paint here, I want to be behind this bloom. Okay, let's turn off the sketch layer so we can see things a little more clearly and I think that looks pretty good. The next thing we're going to do is paint in our large leaves that we had over here. So those are going to go behind everything we have so far. So create a brand new layer and drag it all the way underneath the strawberry group. And we're going to switch to the lightest green color which is the third one at the bottom. I'm going to turn the sketch layer back on and this we can increase our size to. I'm going to come up to 15 percent and then this one's just kind of jagged along the edges, kind of like you'd see it as a rose leaf, and then just fill it in. And keep your stylus on the screen the entire time when you do. I'm going to turn off the sketch layer, and I'm going to create a brand new layer, switch to the next color that's right next to it, so the fourth one on the bottom, and then go back to the dried out brush because it's got that nice texture in it. And all I'm going to do is paint a line down and then do like that V all the way down for the detail. Same thing on the other one. And the V's get progressively larger as you go down. Okay, now we have our entire strawberry all done. I can group all of my elements together, and that way we can move them if we need to align everything a little bit better. And then I'm just going to add in the lettering. So create a brand new layer. I'm going to switch to the dark green, and I'm still using my dried out brush. I like turning my drawing guide on so my lettering stays straight. So hit the wrench, canvas, toggle on drawing guide, and you can just leave it as the default. 
I basically just need a straight line to follow and the size of my brush is about 10% and then you can write your message or you can use typable text. If there's a fruit or a vegetable that you've been wanting to paint and procreate, let me know in the comments section and I will get it on my recording list. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please hit the like button, subscribe, and I will see you next week. Thank you.